What's up guys? As you know, the Supra launched the other day, but unfortunately I didn't get to drive it. I do know a bunch of guys that did get to drive it though. And these are guys that I trust and I'm sure some of you trust as well. So I asked them what they thought about the 2019 BMW Power Audi the Supra. This is what they said. What's up, Mr. Page? So you want to know what I think of the latest Mark V Toyota Supra? Oh, Mr. Page, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, the Toyota Supra, wow. Where do you start? Hello, this is Niaz, probably hacking uh, Ernie's uh, Instagram. <laughs> it's very BMW in here. Many, many BMW parts in. It's incredible BMW in here. Yes, they have raided the BMW parts bin. But I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. A joint venture with BMW is not a bad idea. The driver's car, absolutely. So the fifth generation Supra goes up against the likes of the BMW M2, which is a cracking vehicle, and the Porsche Cayman S. In terms of driving, I think the Supra is better than the Z4. A bit more rigid. Um, I prefer the suspension setup. Um, the, the Supra is also seems to be a little bit more potent. It is quick, 250 kilowatts, and I can tell you that that is underrated. As a driving machine, it's excellent. Um, must you show off? We saw Car Wow's video with the drag race against the Z4, and we saw how it performed there, and it definitely feels quicker than that. Um, at the launch at Aldo Scribanti, we were doing 0 to 100 in about 4.4, 4.5 seconds consistently. I, I miss a handbrake maneuver, I miss... That's about it, actually. You've got the square little car. It's shorter than a GT86, and it's wider than a GT86, and it's lower. You've got a go-kart. You've got something that's nearly square. You've got a T-tray on wheels. Which makes it a pretty fast car. The car seems to, especially in launch control mode, it seems to short shift from uh, first to second when it when it feels like it's it's running uh, or it's, it's spinning up its tires too much. I love the, the rotation of the car, the way the car feels through a corner. Uh, it turns in beautifully. The front end is so composed. Very good on track. Brembo brakes held up very well. I mean, Janil de Villiers was, was pounding those cars around that track. And overall, I think it looks good. I love the way it looks. Features do not do it. Justice. BMW and Toyota were two kids that were given a, the same Lego set, but neither of them were given instructions or a picture. They were given these sets and they were sent off to go and build whatever they wanted to build. And it took them five years to build it, and in those five years they didn't communicate at all with each other, so they had no idea what the other one was building. At the end of the day, they took those parts and they presented them to us. And we've got the Z4 and we've got the Supra. And while they use similar parts, they couldn't be more different. As far as the tuner car goes, this Supra is still something that car enthusiasts can get excited about and, and modify. And with that, I want to say thank you to Toyota for still being prepared to produce driver vehicles. <laughs> Sounds great, drives super good, super good.